In this video, we're about to download and try the new number one Minecraft client. But before we get into this, I want to quickly say I'm giving away two Minecraft accounts and it's very simple. To enter, like this video right now, comment your Discord and you must be subscribed. Winners will be chosen in the next video. For the first time in years, Lunar Client, the largest Minecraft client, has received a brand new update for FPS boosting and more. But first, congratulations to the giveaway winners from the last video, you're on the screen right now. And if you haven't already, go ahead and join my Discord server because you have a higher chance of getting free Minecraft. Okay, it has been a very long time, but we're about to update to the brand new Lunar Client and try out some of their brand new settings for the first time in over a year. Here we go. Okay, it has been a very long time since we've spoke about any Minecraft client. And because of this, I'm also going to be giving away three Minecraft count gift codes where you can redeem directly on the Mojang website. At random points in this video, I'll be placing three of these codes. Let me know in the comments if you redeem them. And if we get a thousand likes, I'll do this again. So, we are on the brand new latest version of the Luna client. Yes, Luna have blessed us with this brand new update. And as you can see, I'm already messing around with their new theme changes. So as you can see, we're in the main menu. It looks like we're playing Bedrock. Wait, we're not. We're actually on the main default Java Edition version. It just looks completely different because they've added these little themes. Now, I have a huge list of all of the updates Luna have included in this new patch, and I'm gonna be listing them and discussing them in this video. I'll also leave a link down below if you wanna check them out yourself. But without any further ado, let's just get into this. I'm very excited. As the Minecraft client connoisseur, I believe it's my job to provide you with the latest news regarding the most popular client within Minecraft, the Luna client. Or at least, I think it's the most popular client. Anyway, without wasting any more time, let's dive into what Luna have done for this update. Now, there isn't that much to go over in terms of brand new mods. However, there is one thing that many have been commenting about on social media, and that is the new Hurt Camp. Now, essentially, when you take damage now, it supposedly makes it look like you're almost cheating and reduces the amount of jitter and knockback that it looks like you take. It doesn't actually affect the gameplay whatsoever. It just just displays and changes the hurt shake that you receive so i want to try this out right now because this makes it feel like you are literally cheating so we're going to go into a duel and i just want to see exactly how this is so we've just enabled this brand new mod and i just need to test this in a plain and simple 1v1 to see exactly how this looks this is by far the most interesting update for me personally that i've seen luna do in quite some time and uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how this looks so Basically, supposedly, yeah, so when you take knockback, it supposedly makes it feel like you don't take as much. And I get what they mean. It kind of like changes the FOV shake that you receive. It doesn't actually change the game at all, but it probably makes it easier to uh, to focus when you're also taking damage and getting hit. Um, I quite like this update, and you'll definitely like it if you play game modes like Sumo or any game mode where, you know, the fight could go on for quite some time. And, uh, you know, if you're getting comboed, I know for a fact when I get comboed, I find it pretty difficult to stay focused. So this is all so a good update for PvPers, and it's a W for the Lunar Client. I've never seen this done in another client before. Again, comment in the description, comment down below if this isn't new, if this is something that's been done before. I've never seen this before personally, but again, I don't really know what I don't really know what mods are in the PvP lounge. I don't really know what mods are in Feather Client or Badline. Maybe they've got it in there. Like I said, I'm very out of touch with clients and I want to get back into it, which is why we're making this video. But so far, I like this a lot. I think this is really nice. Let's kill this guy real quick just so we can move on. But I like this. I'm actually going to leave, leave this mod enabled. This is a new mod that I will be using quite frequently. Um, all right, this guy is really trying to get his screen time today. He really wants to be in the video. Um, okay, he just absolutely destroyed me there. This is what happens when you get really... Alright, let's just fast forward to where this guy gets killed. I think we got him. I think we got him, boys. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. It's, it's pretty difficult to put into words how disgusted I am, how depressed I am. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. 
swiftly moving on, Luna have also added a brand new mod called the Item Counter. Now, they had a version of this before, but they've made a new version, I believe, essentially outlining exactly how many of whatever item you are holding at that time is in your inventory or whatever, how much you pick up. Now, again, this isn't really a mod that I'm going to use, so I didn't think it was that much worth mentioning and showing off, but you can try that out for yourself. Now, that's it for the new mods. There is also a bunch of changes that I'm about to jump into for the existing mods that are actually pretty awesome. Now, like I said, Luna is still by far the biggest Minecraft client within the community, and I don't really see that changing anytime soon. In fact, the whole space of clients has honestly become quite boring. Now, I do really like what Luna have done. And also, I've completely forgot to mention this. I may talk about this in a separate video, but the Luna client server, the Luna server shut down. So not the client itself, but the server shut down. I saw this on Twitter. Now, from what I gathered, the server itself hasn't really uh, been thriving too much as of recent in last couple of months. So it makes sense. If you would like me to make a separate video kind of going into a bit of an investigation and talking about why it shut down, let me know and I might be doing that in the future. Now having said that, I am going to go over here and heal myself up real quick and we're going to take ourselves another speed potion. Everyone in here is absolutely geared up uh, and I don't like it, I'm, I'm very under geared here, I'm, I'm kind of the noob uh, so I have to play this very safe. Having said that, there has been an update to the crosshair mod. Now, I'm not using the crosshair mod, although I believe I do still have my own. I am using it, apparently. I didn't realize I am using it. Uh, we've got the presets that you can also use here. I am actually using a crosshair mod. I didn't even realize I had that enabled, but essentially they've added the outlines back. So if you like an outline on your crosshair, then this update is for you. They've added that back. Apparently they removed it and now it has gone back. Now, on top of this, performance updates. Now, something I haven't really noticed too much so far. Um, okay, hold on. I'm actually going to win this real quick, though. No! I got... Oh, my God! We didn't get him, but we were so close. We're just going to have to go into another game because that was way too close for me to... Oh, my God, that guy is sweating it. Wow. Now moving on, Luna have finally upgraded the FPS performance on their client. Now this is something that I believe they've needed to work on for quite some time, so it is very exciting to hear that they finally made improvements. But essentially what they've done is they've limited the amount of FPS on the HUD, which is essentially all the mods you can see around here, but also the hotbar. This is all the HUD. So essentially what they've done is lowered the performance of the HUD to increase the overall FPS and the amount of stress that the HUD has been taking on Minecraft overall now it's a little bit tricky to explain but essentially what they've done is really cool and again i've been talking about lunar client fps for quite some time and i'm happy to see they're finally making taking steps to improve the fps on the client because like i said if you are looking for better fps lunar client may not be the client for you and i've been quite vocal about this in the past you know when i was very much involved with minecraft clients and despite the fact that my knowledge isn't as extensive as it once was i am trying to get back involved in minecraft clients so please let me know in the comments what client you enjoy using also this is a brand new map i keep going to the wrong side to collect uh to collect items because i keep thinking it would be over there but this is a very interesting map so we've got pink over here we also have this is a really weird map oh my god okay so pink is called lamp and port i might actually make a bridge going over here as well um and we'll just go from there Swiftly moving on, as I mentioned right at the start, Lunar Client have added themes. Now, this is something that has been a big thing on Feather Client and also on Badline Client for quite some time. So it is good to see that Luna are finally kind of catching up in that regard. And I think it's good, you know, adds another layer of customization. Now, I believe this is only the start, and we saw it right at the start of the video where, you know, I kind of changed exactly how you can make the client look. You know, you can make it look like you're in bedrock edition when you're not. It's a pretty cool little thing, and uh, I think it's also I think it's pretty awesome. Although it's just something small that visually changes it's not necessarily something that improves the game whatsoever it is pretty cool and um and i like that luna kind of do it going in that direction moving on supposedly luna client have made it very much faster to load up the game from a cold start so just you know loading up the game has apparently got a lot quicker which i think is pretty cool now again for me this isn't too much of a problem and maybe for you guys it's also not too much of a problem but essentially what they've done is made it a lot faster to load up the game so if you do have a slower pc and it takes you a little bit longer to load up your game well don't worry because now they've made it quicker supposedly and uh, I think that's pretty awesome I'm very happy they've done that and I do not have the facilities to break that my friend uh, 
Oh god, yeah, we're dead here. Okay, there was no surviving that. We need to get ourselves a pickaxe. It was kind of silly of me not to have one already. Um, so we're going to collect one now and go straight back over there. Let me get myself some uh, permanent iron armor. I keep going to the wrong one. I'm not used to this map whatsoever, as you can already tell. And we need to get our pickaxe. There we go. Okay, we should be good with the iron pick. All right, we should be good here, actually. We should just be able to kind of just take over this guy's land. <clears throat> moving forward they have changed the way the pack display looks now again like i said i'm going to be trying to put most of these mods that they've kind of showcased on the screen so you can see the changes i don't use the pack display mod but essentially they've added the description so you can also now see the description behind uh, each mod uh, it's behind each pack which you can usually see in the description as you guys know swiftly moving on now this is the final update that i quickly want to talk about and i think this is pretty funny but basically if you go into hypixel mods you open this up and you go open auto gg you can actually add your own custom message for whenever you win or i believe whenever you die uh, i'm not sure what the rules are regarding auto gg i'm sure you guys know and you're probably screaming in the comments exactly what they are but yeah pretty much they've added an update for that and um that's pretty cool i think that's pretty cool i like that uh, i don't use auto gg because you know when i'm on my main account because i don't have youtube rank right now to disguise i like to be a little discreet when i'm playing the game you know i don't really like people knowing that i'm in the lobby but again at the same time it happens i don't really care so if you are using auto gg feel free to change the name to something else or to change your message to something else that you find interesting well, that's kind of wraps up all of the latest updates for the Lunar Client. Now, like I said, I want to get much more involved in the Minecraft community once again. And I know most of you are probably watching this video saying, Tom, this is your first time recording a proper video in quite some time. And I am a little bit sick. I hope you can't really tell in my voice. I feel like you probably can. And uh, it's just unfortunate. I do get a cold at the most random times of the year. And I think it's just because I just got back from Denmark. I was going to vlog. But you guys know how it is when I travel. I, I always think about vlogging and then it also becomes the last thing I want to do because I just want to live in the moment and I know I need to get better at it but yeah I was away in Denmark I must have caught something on the way back I, I'm sorry I'm also just trying to explore this map because this is my first time on this map so I think it's pretty awesome uh, I do quite like it it's pretty, pretty sweet actually uh, I don't know I think we're getting teamed on the most No, they're leaving me alone for some reason. I don't even have the utility to take a fight here. Really. I think we're gonna die. Oh god. Unless, unless we're that guy. Unless we are. We got him. I don't know how we got him to be honest. That was pretty insane. We don't even have any blocks to get back. We are literally just fresh. We're gonna die. We 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 are basically just a walking support for whoever wants to get get me here. We don't even have. Okay, yeah, we are we are literally dead. I don't know what we can do. We're low health. We don't have any blocks to get back. It's really not looking good for me. I didn't even know you could go up here, to be completely honest. Okay. That guy's got his own little land set up right there. We've got this green man who wants revenge. Oh my god. Oh, we're actually so crazy. Okay, well, we lost, but... We got pretty close to winning. And in true such speed form, we're going to end today's video right here. Invisible, in the sky. You can just see the compass. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what client you want me to try out next. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.